In this video, we're going to talk about real photo postcards, so you're going to want to stay tuned. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, definitely go down there, click the subscribe button, click the bell for notifications as we're going to get into these real photo postcards. There's actually about 34 of these right here. We're gonna go through them individually to kind of show you what I look for when I'm listing and sourcing real photo postcards. So there's about 34 here and uh, let's get right into it. First up, we have this multi-view buffalo hunting, Dodge City, Kansas. This is a multi-view, uh, meaning that there's you know all different types of views here. We got a lot of stuff going on here. We got buffalo. We got Texas Jack Mathis, we got Buffalo Bill Cody, and I think I started this one at like uh, $12.99, and it's got a Eastman Kodak uh, back, as you can see right there. Uh, this happens to be a really cool one. This is an exaggerated photo of a jackrabbit. This is West Texas Jackrabbit, Howard Photo, Pecos, Texas, and for those that don't know, exaggerated photo is basically like an animal, a piece of fruit food something that's like blown up uh, to look exaggerated hence the word exaggerated photo and this is a real photo postcard of a guy carving up a, a jackrabbit here so uh, jackrabbits grasshoppers insects they do very well and so this is a really cool one i think i started this one at like 34.99 uh, here's another old santa fe trail this one's beeson museum this is another Dodge City Museum, Dodge City, Kansas. This is multi-view, a lot going on. Skull, uh, weapons, war weapons, multi-view. I think I started this one at like $8.99. And so this is a, another one of those multi-view real photo postcards from Dodge City. Uh, this is another multi-view from Dodge City. This one's got uh, some stuff going on for it, you know, farming. It's got a hay binding machine and a lot of that cool kind of farming stuff like that. So, you know, this is very cool multi-view here. I think I started this one at like $8.99. Uh, here's another same one of those uh, kind of multi-view things. This one happens to be from Boot Hill, Dodge City, Kansas, Old Santa Fe Trail. And it says, uh, you know, it's got cowboys, Indians, I think, uh, on there. It's just cowboys and a dog. I think I started this one at like $8.99. Here's a ranch scene in West Texas. This one's got like cattle, it's valley, you know, bovine, cow, all that kind of stuff here in West Texas. Not really, you know, a lot going on here, but ra cattle, ranching, cowboy stuff uh, does very well. I think I started this one at like $12.99 or $11.99. Uh, here's just kind of like a dirt road. This is a Black Range uh, Mountains from Deming, New Mexico. This is kind of just a regular dirt uh, road. Sometimes you'll get these dirt road postcards that just have nothing on it. And you got it's like really hard to figure out uh, what it is. And sometimes it's not even worth it if it has nothing. It's like really boring dirt road unless it's got some historic significance, of course. Uh, we got a uh, DOPS, D-O-P-S, backer on that one. Uh, this is a cool one. This is a Tower of London from Tower Bridge. This is like one of the uh, few international ones I have in this one. What's really cool about this one, it's a Tux postcard. It's a Raphael Tuck real photo postcard. I didn't know they did this. And uh, it's got, you know, the, I think that's Prince Edward. I could be wrong. King Edward or Prince Edward, some one of those guys, and uh, from 1952, this has been posted, and so that's a really cool uh, Raphael Tuck. Uh, this is a really cool one. This is a Viking ship from the Os Oslo Museum in Norway. Uh, Vikings ships uh, have a, a pretty good history on Worth Point, and this particular one I could not find. So you know, I don't know if this is a super rare real photo postcard or what, but. Uh, I think I started this one at like $15.99 or $18.99, one of those uh, numbers. But a Viking ship from a museum, pretty cool. And it's got some, uh, looks like it was in a binder at one point. So there is that. Here's another uh, kind of scene. This is Dresden. I think this is Germany. Uh, this is like postmarked and everything, 1936. Uh, and a special pro tip, look out for uh, historical signatures and people 
you know, um, you know, this is before, you know, all the Nazi stuff. So, you know, you might be able to find a, a German general or even Adolf Hitler, you know, postcard. I mean, they're out there. So just, you know, just be uh, extra observant when you're dealing with postcards because some of the highest priced postcards are famous people uh, signatures and, and actual handwritten postcards. So definitely look out for those. Here's another multi-view Dodge City, Kansas. This is Longhorn Steers. Uh, this one's got a lot going on for it because it's got the tractor and you know the cattle stuff, the calves, so ranching, uh, cows, all those different types of uh, stuff going on with it. I think I started that one at like 899. Here's a Hillsboro, uh, Texas, or actually Hillsboro, New Mexico, and just a regular kind of road desert scene. Not much going on for this. I think I started this one at like 599. Uh, this one's a very cool one. This is a Via Acuna. Mexico Lippy Studios, um, you know, Street View. Uh, not much going on though. I just found out that there's a Coca Cola sign right there, so I got to go back into my uh, listing and put Coca Cola in there. I didn't even realize that uh, till I made this first video of this, and <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I did a whole 20 minutes in the video, uh, the batteries ran out, so the whole thing didn't get saved. But, uh, anyways, uh, we're doing this over again. But in that video, I found out that that says Coca Cola right there let's see how well this thing could actually zoom into that right there coca-cola it's kind of beat up sign but still going to add some value to this so i'm gonna have to go back and uh, look at that we've got sawtooth mountains on this one rock pile uh, davis mountains this one is a howard photo from pecos texas not really much going on here uh, though it's cool that you know everything is basically stated you'll get some of these mountain ranges that have no uh, identification at all and those are such a pain in the ass to try to figure out uh, so much so I won't even figure it out you know I'll just lock them up into different uh, unidentified real photo postcards there's also an unidentified a real photo postcard Facebook group that I'm a part of and if I can remember uh, leave a comment below if I didn't put a link to that um, Facebook group it's free and uh, there are some rules with the Facebook group so definitely go and check that out uh, this is a cool photo of a Del Rio bridge between Texas and Via Acuna. We just saw the Via Acuna street view here. I'm not sure exactly what side is which, if this is the Texas side or the Mexico side. Bridges do very well. I saw another one, exactly one of this, I saw for $14.99 in like 2012. So I think I might have uh, put it at the same price. So uh, bridges built, uh, especially bridges that are being built, do very well. Here's another West Texas cattle. Uh, scene this one's got a little this this one the composition's a lot better so i might actually ask for a few more dollars on this one i think i might have listed this one at like 12.99 or 14.99 or something like that because it's got a really good uh, shot of some sort of mountains too right there so um, if you're ever looking up stuff in worth point and you find the same exact photo it's cool to look in that because you can see a description someone might actually uh, know that kind of canyon or, or mountain range so that's kind of like a pro tip too uh, this one's a pretty cool one uh, this one is uh, what is it superior arizona this is actually a gas station i didn't know that till i did my research on worth point and there's actually a coca-cola sign right here a half of a coca-cola sign so it adds a little bit of value to the postcard so like i said always look for those signs especially uh, gas station and kind of street views that are really old Here's another, this is probably one of my favorite ones in the whole lot, another exaggerated photo. This one happens to be a grasshopper. And uh, this one happens to say Holtz Cafe. The photographer that did this, I think, went around the country and did different cafes because this same image has different cafes, like another different cafe. Uh, I couldn't find one that says Holtz. So uh, I think the same photographer went around and basically sold his kind of, uh, uh, kind of postcards that way. This one is another... Uh, Kodak Eastman Kodak back and a very cool one I think I started this one at $34.99 exaggerated postcards some of them are actually worth over $100 so just do your research whenever you find these uh, if you can you know source these for I don't know three or four dollars and under definitely buy buy them anyone that you ever come across for sure here's one from Missouri this one is a Lutheran college the first lutheran college in missouri and i think that says altenburg missouri and there's a few of these in here 
not really much going on other than the subject matter. I think I started this one at like $5.99 or $8.99. So this is a, a better view of the same thing. They're actually moving, uh, they're actually moving the church or not the church, the, the college um, with horseback. So this is a better view. I think I started this one at like $14 or $15.99. Uh, 99 off the double check but from Missouri and what's nice is you can zoom in here um, you know if you know your stuff zoom in with you know a jeweler's loop you never know you might find a famous person in these little kind of scenes and if you do uh, there was a um, Jesse James photo that actually went for I think it went for like 1.3 million dollars it had a, a Jesse James and his gang photo so definitely keep an eye on that uh, this is a similar thing, Luther Church. I didn't know exactly what this was. I had to zoom in uh, to that sign with the jeweler's loop to figure out. Uh, this is kind of the same thing with um, Missouri. It says First College of Lutheran, uh, something on there. So it kind of ties into those other ones. And like you said, if you, you'll get some buildings like this that have no identifying markers, nothing on the back. And those are the real pain in the asses. Those are the ones that you need to have uh, been in this game for a long time or use those Facebook groups that can you know people that know this stuff from the back of their hands There's another desert scene from West Texas. This was a little kind of boring one The only thing really going for this one is the cactuses and like I said usually desert scenes don't really do that Well unless it's got a rattlesnake in it or from Palm Springs or a, a location specific that's you know people are looking for so just you know don't get too excited when you see desert scenes unless it's uh you know composed very well or shot by a a very famous photographer so there's that on those there's another dodge city uh, this kind of went along with those other multi views here uh, this one's from uh, the kansas historical society state highway commission you know it says the dodge city the cowboy capital i think i started this one at like 5.99 uh, this is a really cool one. This is a Native American. This is a Ute Indian with a uh, papoose, which is kind of like a, an infant child holder, handmade thing. And uh, some of these actually go for a pretty good amount of money. There's a couple of these ones that actually go uh, over $100, depending on the particular Indian tribe. So just, uh, you know, Native American keyword, all that kind of stuff. I really love Native American postcards. Uh, I've had a pretty uh, good amount of them come through already in the short time that I've been collecting and uh, selling these. And I think the highest postcard that I ever sold was about $160, and it was uh, tied into uh, Indian Native American related stuff. So definitely uh, look out for this. This is another great one. This is Alice McDaniel and her pet steer, Santa Ana, age 23, 1800 pounds. Uh, women riding horseback, women rodeo, women anything like this, ranch kind of stuff does very well. Uh, I want to say I think I started this one at like $34.99 or something up there on that one. And I think I did actually uh, a little bit more for this one too. So uh, this is, you know, one of those ones that I started at a, a pretty high price. And, you know, uh, this one's got an Eastman Kodak back. Those are very cool. Here's another multi-view. This is a humor one from Boot Hill. This is another one of those Dodge City, Kansas multi-view ones. There was actually a stack of these uh, in this pile that I listed today. This one's a humorous one, Town Bully. It's got kind of like the funny, like, graveyard stuff here. Uh, this is a cool one from the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. This isn't actually a real train. This is a toy train, which actually gives it a little bit more value because uh, model trains and all that kind of stuff is great subject matter with real photo postcards. This one's a Super Chief, the Santa Ana, and the Santa Ana Railroad or Santa Fe Railroad, I should say, uh, does very well. This is a real photo postcard. I think I started this one at like $12.99 or $15.99. Uh, here's another Museum of Science and Industry from Chicago. This one's like kind of like a mannequin uh, animatronic cow, I think. So, you know, Holstein, Brown, Swiss, Harvester, Farm, Cow, Bovine, Cattle, all that, those keywords. I think I started this one at like $5.99. Here's another exaggerated for uh, Holtz Cafe. Uh, this one happens to be a Jack Rabbit, Dodge City, Kansas. Uh, which is you know location specific and one of those advertising postcards very cool i think i started that one at like 24.99 because the subject matter wasn't like super awesome in the composition here's another museum of science and industry from chicago illinois baby chicks i think i did this one at like 
another science and industry. Uh, this is a hay baler at work, harvester farm, tractor, all those kind of keywords. I think I started this one at like $5.99. Uh, this one's a really cool one from the um, Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago. This is actually a York Locomotive Baltimore, Ohio Railroad. Um, the, you know, railroad stuff does very well. I think I started this one at like $15.99 or $12.99. And like I said, it's just an old uh, steam engine, which is really cool subject matter. Uh, this one happens to be a regular photo. Now, just be warned when you get stacks of postcards. Uh, sometimes you can't really see the back of this. It says like uh, Kodak paper. Um, I thought this was a postcard at first, but it's just a regular photo. So if you're ever going to sell photos, just make sure they're not in the postcard section in eBay. Um, if someone gets one of these, you know, they can possibly, you know, have a return or a complaint or a negative feedback. So list photos and photos, list postcards and postcards. Uh, I started this one at like $5.99. This is a Sierra County Courthouse, Hillsboro, New Mexico. And uh, like I said, it's just a photo. It's like a three by five. And so uh, I actually have one watcher on this one so far and I barely listed it. So we'll keep an eye on that. And uh, we got this uh, Bat Bataroy boat. This is a Polish boat. Um, this one actually is trimmed as you can see here. Some of the trim cards you can tell because stuff's cut off so it's easy to tell if it's trimmed. Uh, but a pro tip, if you ever see, let's see if I can actually see this here. If you ever see how could I do this? If you see rough edges, I guess that's really kind of hard to see. If you see these rough jaggedy edges, it usually determine. It usually states that it's been trimmed in some manner. But we were lucky enough on this one that you know it has, you know, clearly been trimmed. Look, it's even not even centered. Like it's like all totally jacked up. Anyways, I mentioned that this is a Polish steam liner. Uh, what's nice is you can usually tell the, the side of the name of the boat. Luckily, this one actually has it on the back and a similar card sold, I think for like $15.99 or something before. And uh, you know, this was part of that, that lot that I lost money on. And this is probably one of the uh, only salvageable cards from that whole thing. So we'll see how that does and how that goes. So uh, yeah, that's that. So there you have it, kind of a step into what I look for in real photo postcards, how I list them, the titles, how I do my research and stuff like that. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Click the like button if you learned something and we'll see you next time. Take care. What you know about rocking the wolf on your noggin? What you knowin' about wearing a bird box? Skin, I'm digging, I'm digging, I'm searching right through that luggage. One man's trap, that's another man's fucking granddad. We're donating that crap. It's up shirt, cause now I'm up in her. I'm in the blue, you can find me in the I'm not, 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 I